So you're looking to have an awesome setup just like this for your videos? Well, you're in the right place. I'm Big J Glees from GamingWithGlees.com, and you're about to learn how to do all this for yourself. All right, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible and set up an awesome looking stream or video for you for your YouTube channel or for your Twitch channel. Now the first thing you're going to need is a background and you can find a background on freevideogamebackgrounds.com. It's a site that I make backgrounds, I post them, you can use them for free, just publish a credit underneath whatever video you're posting, whether it's a Twitch stream or a YouTube video. And that's fine. If you have personal requests, you can personally contact me up on the top. You'll see a custom design request and you can hit me up with that. Now, the first thing you're going to need is an image, and your image goes in the back. So we're going to click on OBS, we're going to go to Preview Stream, we're going to right click, we're going to go Add, and then we're going to go to Image. Alright, now I have an image that's already made. It's made to fit a video screen perfectly. It's also widescreen. Alright, so depending on the type of game that you're playing, if you're playing an old retro game, you're going to need a screen that fits that. Alright, and if you're playing a game that is a newer game or like an Xbox game or you know PlayStation 4 game you're gonna need something like this that's widescreen alright so right here we have our layout so the next thing that we have to do is we have to add our game so we're gonna add our game right here and it's displaying in a window so we're gonna go window capture we're gonna right click we're gonna go window capture we're gonna find the game as it comes up in this little bar right here you have to win the game that's what we want we're not going to capture the mouse, and we're just going to click OK. Notice that it's not in the right position. All right, Now, if you ever need to edit something in this program, just click Edit Scene, and you'll notice a red bar goes around it. You can move it wherever you want. All right, Notice that when you do go to the edge, it will try to suck it into the edge. All right, It tries to keep everything toward the edges. So Now, notice I, I can't get it set properly. So An easy way to fix that is to just make the screen bigger. All right, so it gives you some more room to, to play with here. So we're going to put that in one corner. We're going to take this arrow right here, drag it out to the other corner, and we are good to go. All right, the next thing that we need to do is add the chat. And we're going to display the chat right here. And displaying the chat is a little bit tricky. You're going to need to download a plugin, and the plugin is called Better TTV. And you can just Google it. I'll put a link down in the description. And what it does is it allows for different options for your Twitch chat. So what you can do is you can just click this button once you download this plugin for your web browser. You can click this button right here and click pop out. All right, this takes a second to load sometimes. But what you're going to do now is you're going to screen capture this chat. All right, we're going to exit this. We're going to move this over so nothing is covering it. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to add a window capture. All right, and you can play with the size of the chat and you know make it fit whatever you're using. We don't want to capture the mouse. We're going to capture the Twitch, but we're going to do a subregion. All right, so we're going to click this. Make sure nothing is on top of this. That this is the thing that is the um, that is predominantly outward. All right, this is on top of everything, so you can move the subregion. So we're just going to click OK. Oh, sorry, we're not going to click OK. We're going to click subregion. Okay, that didn't work out like I planned, and that happens. When something like that happens, right click it, go to Properties, Subregion, click it. All right, we're going to move this up past this line right here, and we're going to move this down past this line right here. Uh, that, that looks about good for our chat. So we're going to click outside of that box that's going to be displayed, and then we're going to click OK. All right, so... As we click Edit Scene, we'll move this back on. We're going to move this over here. All right, we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And you notice that it doesn't have a transparent background, which is something that you probably want, especially if you want to display it over here. But if your background, like this one, is dark, you might not want to do transparent. It's up to you. All right, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So to do transparent chat, you're going to click this, and you're going to click Black chat chroma key. All right, it turns everything in the chat black. All right, and what you're going to do is you're going to right click, go to properties, use key color, you're going to select, click right on the black color, and what that does, it sets up similar to a green screen effect. It's going to eliminate any color that's black. All right, so you're not going to be able to see the black background. So as I or as people begin to chat, all right, 
you'll see that it'll come up and it'll be transparent. What I actually do is I screen capture the bottom and I will type stuff in until I see my first entry that enters my preview. Now I know that whenever someone chats inside the chat, it's going to show up on my video. All right, you don't want to screen capture the top, even though that might be your first instinct, because as I, sh as I will show you, as we continue to type, all of the newest chats are at the bottom, okay? So that's, that's just how that works. Now, you might have noticed the Akuma that was up in this area, all right? That is just an image. What that actually is is a GIF. So if you want an image that repeats itself, kind of like a very short video that repeats itself or something that blinks or shines, all right, that is going to be a GIF. So what you can actually do in Google is just... Um, search for me for this one. You can just search uh, Akuma GIF and it'll come up. G-I-F, GIF. And the last thing we're going to do is set up our webcam, which goes right down here. We're just going to right click. We're going to add and we're going to add a video capture device. Click OK. And everything is set up already. If you need to change your timing of your webcam, you do that here. The buffering is in milliseconds. The more milliseconds you put, the more of a delay your webcam will display. So for instance, if I do 3,000 milliseconds, it will be uh, three total seconds that will delay. So if I move my hand, it won't show up on my stream for three seconds after that. And that's particularly good if your mic happens to be off sync or if you use a capture device like a Hapog because the Hapog is three seconds off. I actually own one and I use that all the time. All right, so we're going to click OK. All right, and we're going to shrink this up. And we're going to move this right here where I have created this black box background. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. Shrink this up, move this right here. All right, boom. We're good to go. All right, everything is good to go. All right, all you have to do now, click the edit scene so you don't have the red box there. It won't show up in your in your stream anyway, but it just looks better to me. I like it. It's, it's aesthetically pleasing. All right, so we're going to then stop preview. And then I have this set to PC record, but up here it will say start streaming, and you would just click that. And then, boom, you're good to go. And it will just open up as soon as you click it, and it will look just like this. All right, and everything will be good to go. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, just post right down in the comments below. I will answer all of your questions. Make sure that you check out freevideogamebackgrounds.com, gaminghwithglees.com, and I'll talk to you soon.